Hi, welcome to my home studio slash bedroom. I'm Vanny Debray, I make songs and I produce music and I write in a lot of different genres because I also write for videos and short films. So I wanted to talk about how to write music in genres that are not necessarily ones that you're naturally drawn to or that you have experience writing in. So it's really no secret, but the entire idea behind this video is that you have to listen. You have to use references, I think it's just the only way. So this is a trick that I learned in audio engineering school, and I think it's applicable to basically all mediums of creation. You take a track that has been created by an artist that you admire, or that you think sounds particularly good, and then you work off of that to create your version. So basically, you listen to it critically, and you try to analyze all the different parts of the track and how they work together and how they sound individually to make the bigger picture. This also works theoretically. If you're thinking about arranging or songwriting, you could listen to the structure, you could listen to the melodies and see how those work. Use that knowledge to inform the way that you're creating your track. Okay, so let's look at a real life example. I'm pitching some music for a short film and the filmmaker has sent me a track that she would like to use for the end credits. And so obviously that's not the exact track that will be used for the end credits. My goal here is to make a piece of music that sounds heavily inspired by this track. And I do this all the time when I'm working on short films or projects that are commissioned by other people. If they have an idea of what they want it to sound like, then I will try to make something that's different, because it has to be original and authentic, but as close as possible to the feeling and the sound of what they've sent me. All right, so let's listen to this um, reference. So I want to make some instruments that sound exactly like the ones in this track and then I'll write a different piece of music using those instruments but because the instruments are going to be the same, I hope, it's going to satisfy the criteria. I wouldn't usually do this but I'm going to try to make a sort of sound alike. I'm going to try to use the exact melody lines and bass lines that they're using so that I can go back and forth between my sounds and their sounds and get something as close as possible. So let's hear it again. All right, so I hear two parts. It's probably one or two instruments, I think. There's a bass line, bum, 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 bum. And there's a melody line or accompaniment line. So melodically, that's gonna be pretty simple. The sound I'm hearing it's pretty mellow and muted and round. I'm gonna try to make the synthesizers myself from scratch. And I think I'm gonna use some sine waves to get the mellowness of the sound because the sine wave is just the roundest of the sounds. And then the last thing that I hear, apart from the bass and the accompaniment line, ambiance, like there's a space around the sound. So that resonance is something that we're gonna have to work on also. All right, so let's open up the session. I'm gonna use Ableton for this. If it was more classical, I might use Logic Pro, but I think Ableton is more suited to what I need for these purposes. It's really good at electronic music. So I've gone ahead and I've dragged the audio file. I've just like downloaded it and I've dragged it into my session so that I can use it as a reference. So let me make a MIDI instrument and I'm gonna just drag the analog instruments um, right on top of that. Um, so this is an additive synthesis synthesizer. It's really simple, it just uses two signals. And I'm gonna start with the bass sound because I think that's the simplest. The bass sound is like round and plucky. Um, I think that should be pretty simple. I'm gonna use two sine waves. I'm gonna lower the frequency of the filters because I want it to be dark, you want it darker. And for the attack, I'm gonna keep it pretty quick. Let's see what this sounds like. Pretty good. Really simple. Awesome, okay, so I'm gonna record that. 
All right. So if I listen to it with the track, let's see how it sounds. I can't even tell that it's there. That's perfect. So I'm just going to keep that and then work on the second sound, da -da 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 -da, which is more difficult. I'm using my laptop keyboard here instead of a, a piano because um, I'm lazy. And I'm going to quantize everything. I think it sounds pretty on the dot. All right. So for this one, again, I have an analog instrument that I dragged onto the track. Right, I have two sine waves. I lowered the filters so that they filter out the high frequency so we have this nice mellow sound. And I also added some vibrato volume up and down oscillation with a low frequency oscillator and with a vibrato. You can really hear it in the original track. If I solo the original track. There's a sort of spring. Dong, 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 dong. Wah, wah, wah. So I've made that, but I think that my sound is still too mellow. This is mine. It's like getting there, but I think it's missing some of that bite that's in the original. A little bit of fuzz, of harshness, so I'm gonna change the sine waves into, let's say, a sawtooth and a square, and really lower, lower the frequency um, filter. Basically, this is like EQ so that it stays low in the register. And I'm gonna raise the resonance because that adds that bite to the, the attack. Dun, 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 dun. Now I've done that, let's see how it sounds. All right, that's pretty good. I'm even gonna add um, another instrument in the background, which is gonna be the same line. And it's just gonna add like a second layer. It's really subtle, but I think it helps. This is just a sawtooth pad. Also, as I was listening, I realized that maybe they're a little bit panned because maybe this is just one synth that's playing in the original track. And so the low end is on the left and the high end is on the right. So I've panned my bass a little to the left and my accompaniment a little to the right. So now if I compare the two, there's still something missing, right? It's the space. I need to add some ambiance. I'm gonna do that with some reverb, something kind of large, but not like a hall, kind of maybe not as clean. So I'm thinking like cavern or cave or like bathroom. I've got a bathroom one here and then a cave one that I'm also gonna turn on and I lowered the size so that it's not like huge. So if I add that in and I listen to my track, it's like getting there. Okay, I think there's still a last thing that I'm hearing in the original, which is a sort of, um, I think it's a delay, right? I'm hearing dun 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 dun. I may be wrong, but I think if I add one, it's gonna sound better. So now we've got two reverbs, a delay that I'm sending my tracks to, and I've got a bass track and two layers of that accompaniment track. So now what I can do is I can. <laughs> Original, mine, original, mine. So this took me like 10 minutes to do. It's obviously not perfect, but I think that we're pretty close. Now I have these instruments that I've created that I can use to create a new piece of music that's gonna sound a little bit like the original. And that's super exciting. There's this quote by Monet. He says, I try to forget about the object, not to think here is a tree, here is a river. He thinks, I see a little square of blue, and I see an oblong of pink, and I see a circle of yellow, and I paint those. And this is exactly the same thing that we're doing here with the music. So really it's all about going back and forth and listening to what you're missing and what the track that you're trying to emulate has. And this is gonna be something that applies to everything. All right, so that was my advice on how to write music in a different genre. I hope this is useful to you somehow. Let me know if you have any tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching.